Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about friends. Toxic friends, frenemies, people who ain't really your friends. Friend or not your friend. First things first is if you have somebody in your circle who you feel like low key tries to compete with you in any sort of way, whether it be today, you're like, y'all guess what? Something great is going on in my life. I got some good news. I just found out I got the job and I'm getting paid X amount of money. You know, I got this pay raise, boom, 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 whatever is popping is good. Good news, good news all around for you. And your so-called friend in the moment decides to instead of acknowledging and clapping for you they choose to use that moment to talk about great things that are going on in their life they take the moment away from you or constantly you may feel like when you step into a room with them it you get a sort of competitive sort of energy even though you're not trying to give that to them because you are who you are if you are feeling sort of kind of maybe any kind of way that you may feel like this is supposed to be my friend, so they're supposed to be, you know, and you know, we're supposed to be enjoying each other's company. You're supposed to be happy for me and the wins that I receive. If you do not feel that way towards them, then it might be, you know, time for you to maybe reevaluate your circle and the people that you surround yourself with because your friends are supposed to be supportive, clap for you when you win, be there for you when you go through your struggles and not compete that's not a friend that's a friend of me somebody who we can even take friend off of that and make it an enemy because if i've got to compete with you then clearly you're not trying to be in the winner's circle over here you you're doing too much so make sure you clean out your circle if you are competing if you are going through certain things in your life and you know, when you go through things, you don't want everybody to know your business. You don't. Some things may be embarrassing. Some things may be things you never could have imagined would be happening in your life. And when you go through things, you expect, expect your friends to be there and pick you up in those moments. Be there and pick you up. Whether you are going through heartbreak, whether you just lost your job, whether, you know, you're going, whatever it is that you're going through, you expect to be able to call your friend, especially if they're located in the same state. If they're located in the same state and, you know, when you call them and they're, you're going through something, it's like, oh, well, that's real sad, girl. Well, I'm going to go tend to my man or, you know, I'm going to, that's cool, but I'm going to get back to my Netflix. Hope you're feeling good. Bye. Click. If you're dealing with people like that, then that's not a friend. That may be more of an associate. And if it is an associate, that's definitely not somebody you want to tell your business to. So make sure that the people that you're surrounding yourself with, if you consider them your friends, check off the list. Are they competing with you? Are they supportive of you when you are going through tough times? Are they there? It's one thing to say, oh girl, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry you're going through that. It's another thing for you to call me up and say, hey, I'm just checking on you. Do you want to go grab some lunch? It doesn't take much. Hey, I'm just checking on you. Maybe I should come by. Just see how you're doing. It does not take a lot for people to do that. And your true friends will do that. And you'll be able to weed them out and kind of see who's really there for you and who's not. Another way of determining if someone is truly your friend or not is if they have been untrustworthy multiple times multiple times it's one thing for us to go through one one thing or two things but if you continuously show yourself to me and you show me that you are not someone that I'm able to trust if I'm able to hear certain information from somebody and you've smiled in my face but then when I'm not around, you're kind of giving a different type of vibe or energy, then that is not someone that you want in your circle. That's not someone that you should consider a friend. A friend is somebody who is going to, when you are not in the room, they are going to step up. If somebody has something to say about you, it don't matter who it is. They have something to say about you and your friend is there, then you should know and they should know that when you're not there, they are there to make sure that 
no one's talking bad about you or your character when you're not there they should be able to step up and say hey no 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 we're not doing this today not at all that's the person that you're talking about that's not my friend and if you want to continue to talk like that then maybe i need to leave the room or you need to because we're not we're not doing that you're not going to talk about my friend like that somebody who is supportive of you somebody who can be trusted when you are not around and you're not in that room and somebody says something about you instead of you know kind of carrying the bones being the bone carrier and carrying this from a to b to b to c and it becoming very messy your friend is going to be there to support you and your friend is going to be there to stick up for you when you are not in a room that is a true friend now, I don't know about you guys, but have you ever been in a situation where you have a group of friends, you consider them your friends, and for some reason, you're considering them your friends, but when there are certain things going on, maybe an event, maybe something that you weren't aware of, instead of sending a group text message or whatever the case is, you don't even get a message at all and you have to see it on social media. Like, I don't like that. Like, I don't like it, okay? We are friends and we live in the same state and we consider and i'm telling you what's going on in my life my business my personal business that i don't share with anyone and you are doing the same and you don't even think of me when you have a girls night out you don't even think to acknowledge me you know send me a text give me a call shoot me a dm send me a signal send a pigeon my way whatever it is if you can't seem to do any of those things and i have to go on social media knowing that my ass is home sitting watching netflix because i'm thinking ain't nothing going on in the streets tonight or you know just a good a good time in general and i gotta look on social media to see that you're having a great time and i wasn't invited to that but i'm supposed to be considered your friend and we have mutual mutual friends who are there that's a problem that's a problem and to me that lets me know that you don't consider me the friend that i see you as because friends for me if you're my friend i want to make sure that each and every one of my friends are invited to something if i'm having something at my place and i consider you a friend then i'm going to extend the invite if you weren't even extended the invite to something where you got mutual friends and everybody is kicking and having a great time and you are unaware of any of it until you go ahead and scroll on your social media that's not a friend I don't know if it's a friend of me, I don't know if it's an associate, but it ain't somebody who you need to be kicking it with. If it's continuously happening and they're not able to acknowledge the fact that they're leaving you out every single time. Another tip or red flag for determining if somebody is a toxic friend, a friend of me, or just an associate in general, is if you are hanging out with somebody and the only reason that you hang out with them is because you hit them up. If you hit them up last month, you hit them up this month, and you're going to hit them up next month, but between those timelines of you hitting them up, you never hear from them, that's not a friend. That's not a friend because best believe that's three months, baby, and you really believe that they were never out during that time or even simply thought of you. If you, if we're supposed to be friends and... I haven't, you know, we haven't kicked it in a while. We share, like I said, we share each other's business, personal business with one another. And you never at one point reached out to me to maybe grab some lunch, maybe grab a drink, grab some dinner, whatever it is. Come over, kick it, have some Netflix, cook dinner, whatever the case may be. If you have not reached out to me and the only reason why we are constantly hanging out is because I'm reaching out to you then I don't need to be reaching out to you and that lets me know that we are not friends and maybe I need to reevaluate my circle and take a step back from that and surround myself with other people who actually want to kick it with me. Last but not least is if they are uplifting. Are they uplifting? Are they positive in your life? If you were constantly that friend that's sending them positive vibes their way, checking on them. Maybe you send an inspirational video. You're the one that's always doing those things and it's not being reciprocated towards back towards you. Mm. Mm. I don't know, sis. And they probably ain't your friend. 
if you are in my circle, I want to make sure that the positive vibes that I'm giving you, you are giving back to me. When I put into you, I expect you to put back into me. I'm not trying to be boom, 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 building you up and you just over here got me like this. No, it's a... You know, it's a mutual thing. It's a thing that we do for one another. If I'm constantly pushing you, you got good news and I'm uplifting you. And when I give you my good news, you're crickets, nowhere to be found. That's a problem. And it's time for me to reevaluate my circle and realize that everybody can't be your friend. Sometimes people are there for a season and they're not meant to be in your life forever and that's perfectly fine some people ain't even meant for a whole season they might be there just for half season i don't really know but what i do know is some people everybody can't go with you to the next step of your life not their life your life when it's time for you to move on god's gonna have you take some people with you and some people gotta go and that's perfectly fine that's just life but in order for you to grow and be the best person that you can be the people who if you have a gut feeling, if you feel some type of way, sideways, left ways, up ways, down ways, whatever ways, you feel any type of way about them or a situation and your gut is telling you something, believe it. Believe it because what you're feeling is most likely true. And if you're feeling like somebody is kind of, mm, you're, you know, you're doing the most as a friend and they're kind of down here, then you might want to take a step back and kind of reevaluate that situation and determine if you want them to move forward into the next step of your life. Because honestly, a friend, it is hard to come by. It's hard to come by these days. And you want to make sure the people that you are surrounded with are people who want you to win, people who aren't competing with you, people who are uplifting you, people who are being honest with you, care truly about you, are going to keep it 100 with you, and love you to death. And if that's not the vibes that you're getting from the people in your circle, it's time to cut them off. Because once you remove let me let me give you guys a message. Uh, you know, let me let me put a little something in you. In order for God to put somebody, put some good, some new good positive energy into your life, he's going to need you to remove some of that bad. Okay? So if you're feeling some type of way about two of your friends, you're not really feeling like they're friends and they're more of an associate and somebody that you probably don't need around you or they just got negative energy, go ahead and remove them. Go ahead and remove them. You already feel some type of way. They're not really, you know, especially if you've already had a conversation about it, whatever it is, you go ahead and remove that. Once you remove what needs to be removed out of your life, in God's timing, when it's time, he will bring the right people into your life. But he's not going to be able to do that if you got too much going on. You, you don't have the space. He's giving you two parking spots. And you got two people here who should not be there any longer. They've served their purpose. It's time for them to go. Go ahead and let them go. So that now you have two empty parking spaces so God can bring two people into your life that actually serve the life that you were trying to walk into. But he can't do that if you're trying to hold on to people that were meant for your past and no longer meant to come into your future. Okay, period. So, you guys, I hope that this video helped somebody. Make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know. I'm going to keep the videos coming. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.